Hi there, in this quick video, I'm going to let you know how you can design any of your Power BI reports automatically without any efforts. It doesn't matter whether you have a MacBook or a Windows laptop, you can design these reports automatically. And how you can do that, I'm going to show you in this video. So if you want to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Very first, we have to come to our Power BI service. Over here, you should either have a free trial period or you should have a Power BI Pro or Premium license. Without that, you cannot do that. And over here, the very first step should be that your data set should be in the Power BI service. And the quickest way to get your data set into the Power BI service, either you can create a data mart, data flow, or suppose you have your data into the Excel file. And right now I have some financial sample data from Microsoft in an Excel file. So what you can do in that case, just come to your workspace. For example, I'm coming to this demo workspace. Over here at the bottom, you would find this get data option. Click over here on this files option over here we have this get button so click on this and here it's going to ask you where your data resides so now what you can do you can just click on this local file because my file is on my local system however if your data is on OneDrive SharePoint or maybe somewhere else then also you can import it so just click on this local file here I can just select my financial data click open once you are going to open it's going to give you two options now what you want to do with your excel file data whether you want to create a report from that or you have already a dashboard into your excel file and you want to utilize it so over here we have to select this first option import and your data set is going to be over here into your workspace i have already this data set into my workspace where you can see financial sample data is over there now the two options that i was talking about you that how you can create any report automatically very first option is over here with the quick insight so just click on this option get quick insights and then click on this get quick insights it would take a couple of minutes and after that it's gonna be ready for you and here it's ready so just click on this here you would get all the visualizations from your data set that means what are the insights power bay can find you automatically from your data and this is a very good example when you have to analyze the data you don't need any python code you don't need any sql code or any other language microsoft power bi is going to do it for you automatically using their ai system now if you would like to create your power bi dashboard you can simply pin them to your dashboard so you can select whether you have an existing dashboard or a new dashboard if it's a new you can just give it a name over here and over here you can directly pin them so that's how you can create your dashboard automatically. Not only that, now you already know how the data is coming, what is on your x-axis, y-axis, or what kind of data it's using. You can create a report as well from this data. So that was the option one, where you don't need to do anything. Microsoft Power BI is doing everything for you. And the good news is that you really don't need any Power BI desktop application for that. That means you can run it on any machine because Microsoft Power BI is a cloud-based service which runs in any browser. Now coming to the second point where I was saying that there is a way that you can generate reports automatically too. So what you have to do, you have to come on your left hand side pane and here you would find this tab over here, create. So just click on this. Over here, you would get again two options, paste or manually enter the data or pick a published data set. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on this second option, pick a published data set. So please click over here. Here you can search your data set. For example, mine is financial one. So here I can see that this is my data set. So just click on this. And now at the bottom, you would find this highlighted button over here, auto create report. That means you really don't have to do anything over here. If you really want to create a blank page report as well, you can create and then you can drag and drop your different fields and you can create visualizations. But as I said, we want to create automatically. So just click on this auto create report option and here your report is ready. Now, if you would like to edit this report, you can edit it. Just click on continue and here you can edit your field. You can drag and drop the fields over here. If you would like to modify it, you want to apply any other aggregation or if you would like to create any other page. For example, I have this second page I created over here. Here I want to see sales for my different products. So just drag it over here and then sales. I can just choose this visualization 
and here I can see sales of my different products. If I would like to create any of the KPI that I will, that one also I can choose. Just click on this card option. Here I'm gonna say total sales. So it's gonna automatically do the sum, but you can also choose if you want to do something else over there. So that's all guys for this video. If you have any question or concern, please don't forget to let us know. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.